Hey, this is Byron Brown, the anti-lawyer lawyer. Yes, I'm a lawyer. I'm an actual lawyer and I've been one for almost 20 years. You might, might not have heard. I mean, this isn't on the top of the news wire, so to speak, but Brad Pitt has filed a lawsuit against Angelina Jolie over a winery they mutually owned. Angelina Jolie sold her portion to a Russian oligarch and Brad Pitt is saying, whoa, 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 whoa. I might have been okay with the sale, but I never approved the sale to this Russian oligarch. And um, so, hey, listen, I want the sale to be undone and I want my damages. That's what Brad Pitt is alleging and I think he has a very good case. If you like my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, back in 2008, they purchased Chateau Marival, I'm probably butchering that, but they purchased this winery in Corins, France for a price tag of $28.4 million and they purchased it together. Angelina Jolie put up 11.36 million of that 28.4, so almost half. No articles I've read really show where the other money came from, but I'm assuming it came from Brad Pitt. There's no other owners alleged, so it just appears that the winery was owned by Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. And when they got their divorce, Part of that was separating assets, obviously. Part of that was Angelino Jolie applying to the court to say, hey, listen, I found a potential buyer for my part of the winery and I'd like to sell it. And Brad Pitt said, hey, that's cool, but I would like final say on who you sell it to. Now, any business relationship usually revolves around an operating agreement. And within that operating agreement, and I'm assuming they had one in a case like this. Again, I'm assuming because I don't know for sure, for sure, but in that operating agreement, there's always typically a clause to say that, hey, if one member of that agreement, meaning Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were both members, both owners, if one member wants to sell their shares, the other member has the right of first refusal and or approval of whoever purchased it. And that makes sense, right? If, if you're in business relationship with somebody, you've obviously approved that you're okay with it. Coming into another business relationship with a new partner that you have no idea how that partner is going to work, especially when you're talking about $28.4 million, it is very reasonable to assume that the other member needs to approve the sale. And that's all Brad Pitt is saying is he's saying, hey, listen, I was okay with the sale in general, but when you turned around and sold it to Russian oligarch Yuri Scheffler, who's part of the Stoli group, you've probably heard of Stoli Vodka, um, he never approved it. And now Brad Pitt is saying, hey, listen, Angelina Jolie, other than dumping some money in the beginning, she didn't do anything to run this. Brad Pitt is alleging that he put in a lot of sweat equity, time and effort to make this winery run and become profitable. And he's further alleging that Yuri Scheffler's involvement now as part owner is causing this winery to go into the hole. He's saying it's very hard to run and he would have never approved the sale. He only found out later, probably because Yuri Scheffler and the Stoli group showed up and goes, hey, listen, we own part of this now. And Brad Pitt's like, what the happened, man? You owe a duty to your partners within any business to not kind of screw them over. And so essentially what Brad Pitt is saying in this lawsuit is, hey, Angelina Jolie screwed me over. I'm sure she had the right to sell it, but I had the right to approve the sale. She robbed me of the ability to prove the sale. So now he wants that deal undone and he wants damages. I'm assuming his damages relate to loss of profit or costs incurred since scheffler has been involved. Brad Pitt maybe has lost money because of it. And if he can prove that, then I think he's going to be successful. Again though, you're dealing with people with a lot of money and when people have a lot of money, they understand that the legal process is slow, time consuming and costly. So I think cooler heads are gonna prevail. I think there'll be some sort of agreement. I mean, listen, maybe Yuri Shuffler buys out Brad Pitt, pays him a bunch of money and Brad takes his walking papers and leaves. Maybe Yuri Scheffler and Brad Pitt can sit down and come to an agreement on how to operate this, this winery. Maybe Angelina uh, Jolina agrees and goes, you know what, my bad. She gives the money back to the Russian oligarch and they start the sale process all over again. But I do not believe this is a case that we're gonna hear a lot about. I think cooler heads will prevail and I think some sort of settlement will be reached. And when that settlement is, is reached, 
I don't know if we'll hear a lot about it. We might hear if ownership changes hands, but I do not believe we will hear about any dollar figures. If you like my video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If there's any legal issues or the like that you'd like to see my legal commentary on, please leave it in the comment section below. I appreciate it. Thank you.